What's up guys? My name is Zed and welcome to my home. I'll take you on a little tour. This is part of the view. I really never get tired of a view like this, which is really zen and peaceful and uh, relaxing. So the way this is structured for me is that this section of the house is work. The bottom part will be the studio. The top part is the gym, indoor and outdoor. This section of the house is living and this is like sleeping. Welcome to the house. I don't know how, but nobody's ever fallen in here. Um, drunk or not drunk, please don't be the first one. This is the small door to the house. You can, when you open it, decide whether you want to go here or here. I'll go here. When you walk in, what I really like about this place is that A, it's really open. You see a lot of glass, really tall ceilings here. So you have a little bit of everything right away. And this tree, this entire house was actually built around this tree. Unfortunately, it is dying. So I'm going to replace it with an artificial tree that looks just like this. And I'll also add um, an iPhone charger in there in case I ever want to charge my phone right here. Temperature, lighting, gate, shades, uh, cameras. This is like the, the pad that lets you control everything. Then this is a little hand that holds my keys. So I know exactly where they are. Currently this wall is just a wall full of art, silly things and awards. They're all kind of mixed in so there will be a Grammy next to a poop emoji. So this is uh, the gallery, the art gallery. Um, the person who built the house um, is a big fan of art and he was playing with the thought of maybe even having some moving art pieces here. Um, I love the ceilings here because it gives you a lot of space for art. It's really tall. There's benches here for when you get tired of walking to the Skittles machine. This is the Skittles machine that will go to whatever flavor you pick. Would you like some? All right, uh, let's go outside. This is one of the many ways to leave the house. So we can kind of see these stairs here. These stairs will eventually continue all the way down to the railing and then that's where the guest house bowling alley complex will be. And if I ever decide to change my career into a professional soccer player, this is where I will start. The pool has to be at 97 degrees. That's just how pools should be. The hot tub is in the pool and you can't really see it when the overflow is on. And then when you turn it over to uh, jacuzzi mode, then the water level just lowers slightly and then the jacuzzi stands out. So this place was built kind of like a resort. All the guest bedrooms are all back to back and everybody has direct access to the pool. There's an outside barbecue area with uh, obviously the barbecue and there's Another sink and a fridge that I think, yep, has a bunch of beer. So this is the gray bedroom where everything is kind of muted. All these um, open up entirely and give you a nice view and a breeze and you can go straight into the pool. So this is uh, my brother's bathroom. These blinds here, they're currently on a timer and I think they go up at 6 or 7 a.m. So when my brother takes a shower, somebody's outside, it goes up. He's had an encounter with our gardeners because he decided to take an early shower and the gardeners, you know, had a nice view. Nobody in here. Oh wait, I thought that's a different room. Never mind. This is, uh, this is the server room. There's a lot of doors here. So this room is one of my favorite rooms in the house. I call it the Costco room. Uh, and the goal for me was to stack everything up with anything I could ever use so I eventually don't have to leave the house. These are also probably the largest stairs ever. And I think they made them so it's a little bit more comfortable to walk or run upstairs if, if it's urgent. All right, this is, uh, this is the master. Welcome. It has the wood ceilings. Um, it has the same stone that we've seen earlier on the outside and on the inside. This view is beautiful and amazing to have, but I can't sleep if it's not completely dark. So this is saving my life right here. You can just click a button. So this is the magic. There's a lot of amazing things about this house, but this is probably the thing that makes me the happiest. There we go. Now it's ready for bed.
So this is the master outside patio. It's a really nice place to have a coffee if you drink coffee or watch TV if you don't wanna watch TV inside or have the fire outside if you don't like fire inside. So this is the bathroom. It's really everything I've ever wanted in a bathroom. I think it's perfect. It feels really nice. The view is nice. I love the lighting fixture. So far, I've only used the bathtub once because I feel like when you buy a house with a bathtub like this, you have to use it. So I did and I'm good now. Now I'm back to the shower. This is my unorganized, unfinished closet. I apologize for the mess. And then the other side, meant to be hers, but it's shoes. Lots of shoes that I haven't even opened yet. Um, I like shoes. I guess you can tell. So this is the main part of the house. It is the kitchen, the sort of dining area, and the living space. This works as a dining table as well. It has built-in hibachi grills. And then there's four ovens for, I don't know, when you wanna make four cakes at the same time, I guess. This is the stove. And little story about this little guy here. I, I had never seen these before. It's a pot filler. So you don't have to you know, put water in it and carry it. You just can do it right here. That's when I knew that I wanted the house because I thought that if somebody thought about this, they probably thought about other things too. There's water. It's magic. This, this is the reason I bought the house. Along here in the kitchen and in the preparation kitchen, there's built-in vacuums, so if you prepare food and you drop something, you just kick it in and it goes through to the central vacuum, which is hidden in the server room. This is the main living area. This is where we spent most of the time. It is um, no surprise at this point anymore, but it does have a fireplace as well. It has a, the view, the incredible view. And it's just very cozy and livable. And then in this corner, we have another table, which is the board game table. It's dedicated specifically to play board games like Risk. It can be used for other things too, but really this is the board, board game table. So this fireplace is right underneath the other fireplace upstairs, which we found out because you guys told me. I didn't know, now we know. These doors open and hide in in the stone wall and in this little wood piece, all the doors from all the rooms hide in there. So I can kind of open this for you. So because the tile inside the house and outside is the same, and there's even a little bit of roof that is still over there, you kind of lose sense of when you're inside or outside. Like when you're here, it feels like you might still be inside. And that's for me the definition of indoor outdoor living is when it really melts together and you can't really tell when you're aware. This is like uh, the rooftop. I think if I ever really have like a proper party, this would be a really good place to entertain. I'm imagining like some seats, a movie projection, and so it could be a really nice place to watch a movie when it's warm in the summer, I think. <laughs> Never tried it. Let's head upstairs to the uh, gym that's not finished yet. There will be a huge machine here covering the majority of the room. I have no clue what I'm doing because my trainer's not here, but he'll be really proud seeing this. So Patrick, this is for you. Right now, this is still sort of a garage, but it will become a music studio. We have to dig five feet down because uh, you need a certain height to be able to have a good sounding studio. And then there will be stairs going down and there will be one room here and one big room over there. I promise that's what it will be eventually. All right, guys, thanks for checking out my house. I hope you enjoyed it. Now get the hell out of here because I have a fitting starting in two minutes. <laughs>